Hey guys, this is the nail art tutorial I have for you today. It's a little bit sort of art deco-y, but it's pretty simple, so let's get started. I have already skipped a couple of steps um, in this video, so step one, apply a base coat and let it dry. Step two, uh, apply your base color. I'm using an orange, and this is called Sunset Boulevard by American Apparel. Step three, apply a piece of tape diagonally to your nail, and on the tip that's not covered by the tape, apply as your second color. I'm using a pink called Angeline by American Apparel. Once you've applied a, an opaque coat of that pink nail polish, peel off the tape immediately so that you can get a nice crisp line. After you've done this, you definitely want to wait for your nail polish to dry completely before you move on to the next step. So now that my nail polish is dried, I am using a white nail polish. I'm using Blanc by Essie and a striping brush. Actually, this is a spotter brush by American Painter, which you can find at your local art store in the acrylic paintbrush section. Um, so what I'm doing is I'm going to be creating five vertical lines down the nail. I'm starting with the middle one, and it's going to go from almost the very top all the way down to the tip of my nail. The other four lines are going to be symmetrical. So basically, as you can see from my other nail that's already been finished, I'm going to start the lines that are on either side of that first line a little bit lower down and then the other lines will be a little bit farther down as well. So you get a little bit of an Art Deco sort of striping feeling to this design. Um, if you're not very good with stripes, um, I would recommend using a longer, really thin script brush. These can also be found in the acrylic paintbrush section of your art store. Um, they kind of help doing straight lines. Uh, they make it easier to do straight lines, so maybe give that brush a try. But uh, that is basically it for this design. It's those few steps. Uh, wait for the stripes to dry before you apply your top coat, and you're done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this really simple, really quick tutorial. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.